What up guys, it's Matt, and today I just wanted to do a video talking about um, something that I, I feel like there's been quite a few videos on it over the last few years, and uh, there's certainly been posts on Reddit and on the uh, Respiratory Therapy Break Room on Facebook about it, and that's... Um, respiratory salaries, you know, uh, how much do RTs make, and, uh, you know, usually from new grads, but also, uh, you know, if uh, maybe someone with some experience is relocating either facilities or cities or states, um, and so those, those questions come really broadly or really specifically. Um, and one of the big things about RT salaries, I, I just start with this, I guess. One of the big things about RT salaries is that they are wildly, 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 wildly specific to facility, city, and state. Um, you know, a lot of RT programs will post uh, the BLS statistics on um, the salary and, you know, future outlook for the career, uh, you know, career growth and stuff like that, and how many more of those positions are going to be available, um, on like a five or ten year, um, outlook. And, you know, and they have like an average salary range, and it's always a little kind of on the higher end of things, so, uh, you know, I think sometimes new grads get the sense of like, oh, you know, I'm gonna graduate school and get a job making like 60 grand a year. And it's like, you know, that may be true if you live in like California, some super high cost of living uh, area. Uh, you know, like I know it's not unheard of for people in Southern California or in Bay Area, California to make in 40 plus dollars an hour as a new grad. Uh, but for the majority of the country, that's not likely going to be the case. So, uh, I think when, when you talk about salaries, you, you really do need to be pretty specific um, about exactly what you're looking for. Um, and understand that, you know, no one working in Alabama is making $60 an hour uh, as a base rate. Um, my other big thing about salaries is that uh, a lot of times you'll see people post things like, yeah, you know, I make 100 grand a year as an RT. And that statement alone is like, I don't know, a little misleading. Like, really, you work somewhere that pays you to work three 12s and your base salary is 100K? Oh, well, no, I, I pick up two extra shifts a week, plus uh, there's a week of differential, plus I'm night shift, so there's a differential. Um, and I have a second PR and RT job. You know, okay, that's different. You know, that's not, yes, I make 100K a year, like, as an RT. You know, that's, uh, you're like grinding and working two jobs as an RT to make 100K a year. So, you know, uh, just, just, you know, take salaries with a grain of salt. So just keep that in mind uh, when you're asking. If you, my opinion on asking the best place to ask for salaries, you know, you can always Google and get an idea of like, there's like salary.com and Glassdoor and you know those types of websites. And you know, they may they may be fairly accurate, they may not. Uh, the one thing I've noticed is I don't think that they sometimes sort out seasonal versus per diem versus full time versus uh, I don't know, even travel. It, it doesn't seem sometimes, and I only know that because I've looked at hospitals that I've worked for and seen the salaries that were listed and can tell right away and like you know, they've determined the base salary for this hospital on some things that are a little like misleading, you know, like there was no one at my hospital who wasn't, at my old hospital, um, who wasn't seasonal, who was making more than like, you know, I don't know, 23 or $24 an hour. So to say like, oh yeah, this hospital is paying about 24 on average, I'm like, ah, that's not true. Like someone who was seasonal or a traveler, someone reported their income and it kind of like threw off the statistics. I think the most accurate place to look is actually on um, Facebook, on the Respiratory Therapy Break Room. 
because a it's you can search it and you know find some historic postings about you know give or take how much a place is paying um, usually like a city but some people do ask more specifically like about uh, uh, the specific hospitals they may be looking at you know if they're looking at like a children's hospital in a certain city or something but um, I think the big one is uh, is there because you can say hey I'm looking to relocate to Houston Texas or San Diego California what can I expect to make I'm a new grad or I have five years of experience or I have ten years of experience and I do flight and I have five years of that is Nicky pick you with my NPS certification and people who actually live there or have worked there in those facilities those hospitals are going to be the likely the ones who respond to be like hey you can expect to make this much or that much and that's going to be a lot more helpful I feel like than you know again just randomly googling um, one thing to really hope for is that the system that you're applying to has a uh, some sort of a recruiter or something as opposed to like getting a call directly from a manager um, because usually a recruiter can kind of give you an idea that's my general advice guys on salary and pay what to expect and, and how to best find the answer because I could sit here and tell you I make X amount of money all day and it doesn't mean anything unless you're coming to live here where I live in Arizona um, you know you take my advice and you go somewhere and you know small town Tennessee somewhere or small town southeast where the pay is a lot lower and you're like oh but a guy on YouTube said I was gonna make $27 an hour it's like well hospitals they don't maybe don't pay that much money so um, you know your cost of living and your market's gonna drive that so anyways guys uh, I'm about two minutes from work so I'm gonna stop this here uh, thanks again guys so much for watching um, you know I'm gonna try to shoot a little more regularly I got a long drive again so that's when I can produce a lot of my content so if you're enjoying it uh, you know I'd appreciate likes and subscribes um, comments uh, let me know if there's any videos you'd like me to do I hope everyone has a great day uh, take care and I'll talk to you soon